Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest. Appreciate you watching. So I had a viewer who uh, recognized on this fresh elementary OS install on the family PC, recognized that I had a brother printer. And uh, the viewer also has a brother printer and, and had the idea to do a video on getting the drivers set up. And uh, so I think that's a great idea. Hopefully this will help you, not only if you have a brother printer, but I'm just going to discuss a few things if you have, you know, other models of printer, be it HP or Canon or Epson. Because I think you'll run into maybe a similar uh, process depending on the age of your printer. And so uh, with Linux, um, older printers seem to do better. And I'll give you an example. I have an old HP all-in-one that's... Uh, gosh, probably going on 10 years, but it's printer, scanner, fax, the whole thing. And um, it plugs into just about any distribution and loads right up and, and functions perfectly fine. So, you know, uh, if you have an older HP or uh, an older well-known model, um, you'll probably find that you can just plug that printer right in and, and take off doing whatever you need to do with the printer. So, uh, now... The steps I'm going to go through here and, and explain will probably apply to, again, just about any model of printer that you're working with. And your mileage is going to vary, but we'll kind of go through the process. So the first thing that happened uh, when I installed or plugged in, uh, and I'm not connecting via Wi-Fi. This printer does have Wi-Fi capability, but I am plugging in direct via USB. So the first thing that happened was after the install and got everything set up with elementary OS, I plugged in the printer and it recognized the printer right away and installed the printer. Unfortunately, uh, while the printer was communicating with the operating system, it would not print. So after a little research and digging, what I found is that the default drivers installed by the OS automatically did not quite match uh, the model of printer. And so um, again, just a little online research I was able to find within a few minutes uh, the process. So I'm just going to share that process with you. And again, this could apply to other brands of printers. So uh, the first thing I had to do was go in and actually remove uh, the printer that was, was installed automatically. And the reason is, is the drivers did not um, allow the proper communication from the OS to the printer. So we wanted to remove that and after I, uh, I removed it I unplugged the USB cable uh, from the computer. And so now there's no communication or anything going on. So the next step is after you've removed, if it's not working and you've removed the printer and you've unplugged the USB cable, the next step is to get the proper drivers. Now in this case there are two drivers. And what I would recommend that you do is instead of, once you go to the website of the manufacturer of your printer, you will find some form of search, search by model name or, or model number. I recommend you start there as opposed to going into their category list because number one, it'll save you some time. And number two, you may not find in their product category list the exact model number of your printer. And in my case, here with this brother printer, that's exactly what occurred. Is I, I didn't find the exact model number, but after doing a search for the model, I found more of a generic printer driver that matched, or was, or that my particular printer model was a part of that group that matched this more generic printer driver. And in some cases, you will find that a generic printer driver will do as good or a better job in communicating between the OS and the printer than maybe a, a, a driver that came with it or a driver that you found specific to the model. And I'm not sure why that is, but um, I have just found over the years, um, just user experience, that sometimes that generic driver does a better job. So in this case, there were two drivers. There was a, a CUPS wrapper printer driver and then there was another driver, the LPR driver. And so you will um, go through the process here of just simply downloading both of those drivers. I'm going to cancel this out. No need to go back through the process. So again, going to download the LPR printer driver and the CUPS driver. Uh, and, and this applies to the, to the brother 
uh, printer. So for your particular printer, you may only have one driver package. Now, once that driver has been uh, downloaded, you will then go over to whatever download location. In this case, it's simply uh, the downloads folder. <clears throat> and then we have the two drivers. Now, if you happen to have two separate drivers that you are installing for your particular printer, there may be an order that is um, that you would need to follow in installing the drivers. And in this case, again, reading online, um, you know, the Linux community can be extremely helpful. Uh, reading online, it was suggested to install the LPR printer driver prior to installing the CUPS driver. So I followed those directions and simply, uh, and in this case, it's a dev file, so it was one click and, um, you know, and the install process began. So uh, both drivers installed very quickly compared to the old Windows days where you had the CD and, you know, it would take you 25 minutes just to install all of the printer crap, I'll call it, that was included with that CD all the monitors and ink monitors and you know they had to have their little pop-up that showed you hey you're getting low on ink click here to buy you know hundred and forty dollars worth of ink you don't get any of that with Linux um, you know you you there are there are software there are softwares that you can install that will help you with some of that but here we're just talking about the driver so that you can do what you want to do which is print you know print scan facts etc so anyway, they installed quickly. I digress. They installed quickly. And uh, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to reboot after you've installed the drivers. And then upon reboot, you will then plug your USB cable back into your system. And it will recognize the drivers. And it will go through an automated, you know, an automatic setup process that's very quick. And uh, then you can do a, a, a print test page. So we'll go to that so that you can see that. And again, this is within elementary OS. Your uh, printer setting screen is going to look different depending on the version of Linux you're running. But here in this case, um, there's an area where you could print a test page. And uh, if the page prints fine, then, then you're up and running. So hope this helps. Um, whether you have a Brother printer or a Canon or an HP or an Epson or some other brand, uh, the process will be somewhat similar, and I just highly recommend that you spend some time with Google, uh, you know, and, and uh, again, that Linux community is there and very helpful, and, uh, you know, your mileage is going to vary depending on the distribution, uh, so when you do a search, for example, uh, with elementary, it was best for me to search based on the base of the distribution. So I just did a search for the printer model and instead of saying elementary OS, I said Ubuntu because that covers a broader range of topics in the Linux community and I was able to find what I needed on first search. So um, maybe that'll help you. Hope it'll help you. And that's it for now and we will check you later.